It was efforts to save the country's largest water towers that drove them out of what they had called home for decades. Destitute and with nowhere to go, no food or shelter over their heads, they were now displaced in their own country. They were christened the Maui victees. Four years on, songs rent the air as buses arrived in Kericho. It was song and dance as they disembarked from the buses to a reception by the Minister for Special Programs Esther Murugi and her Rhodes counterpart Franklin Bett. Some could not hold back their emotions as they now had a place to call home. Addressing them, Special Programs Minister Esther Murugi gave an assurance that she would liaise with the Agriculture Ministry to provide them with seeds for planting on the onset of the season. Nataka tu kumpatia miesi sita. Sahabu ni kiagalia hii mshaga, hii mshaga ni mshaga mzuri. Kwa hivyo, watu wa agrikasha tutaugana tana na, na, na muheshimua, diyo tumuletea begu, muanze kupada haraka inawezekana. Diyo muanze kujiagalilia. Recalling that the last elections had also left scores of others homeless after neighbors turned against each other, Bet sought to offer them a word of caution as the country moves towards the next general elections. Nimesema kwa Garijo County, never again, never again shall our sons be asked to go on the roads to barricade roads, never again. After the reception, they were issued with tents and blankets and some food as the special programs ministry moves towards helping them rebuild their shattered lives. Nancy Njoki, GBS News.